graph is consist of two things one is a non empty set of vertices and the second is called as an edge set in general a graph is defined as an ordered pair of a vertex set and the edge set for example for this graph g g consist of two things vertex set and edge set where vertex set is consist of all those elements mentioned over here so these elements are called as vertices point or node so in this case vertices are a b c and d second is a edge set that is represented as a line or a curve over here and in order to write the edge set so it is written as a distinct pair of vertices so for here there is a first edge between the vertex a and b so it can be written as a comma b second edge this is written as a comma d next edge is written as b comma d and the last is a c comma d so this is an edge set for this graph g similarly for the graph second that is represented by h its vertex set is consist of three elements and the names are v1 v2 and v3 now there are only two edges over here so this e set is written as first edge is between the vertices v1 and v2 so we can write in an ordered pair v1 comma v2 second edge is between the vertices v1 v2 and v3 so this is an edge set for the graph h so we can also represent it as a v1 and e1 so h is a graph that is consist of v1 vertices set and edge set e1 moreover this edge set can also be represented in a second form in case the name is given to the edges suppose this edge is written as a e1 second edge is represented as a e2 in that case our edge set is represented as e1 comma e2 the next term is an end point of an edge so each edge has two vertices associated with it is called an end point for example for this graph g so in this case we have three vertices a b and c so the vertex set in this case is a b and c now edge set so there are four edges over here e1 e2 e3 and e4 now the question is what is the end point of e1 edge so answer is take the associative vertices with it so now in this case a and b are the end points of this e1 edge what are the end points of e2 that is a and c so end point of e3 that is b and c now end point of e4 so e4 is an edge that starts and ends at the same vertex so end points of e4 is a and a or we can say that it has only one end point a so in this case there is a special name for such an edge that is called as an self loop self loop means it is an edge that have a same end point so in this case e4 is called as a self loop moving forward so there are two type of a graph one is called as an infinite graph and the second is called as an a finite graph so it depends upon the vertex set and the edge set and if a graph with the infinite number of vertices or infinite number of edges then it is categorized as a infinite graph whereas if a graph with a finite vertex set and finite edge set it is categorized as a finite graph so it is important to note that in case of infinite graph there is a or condition means 
if the vertex set is infinite or its set is infinite or both of them are infinite then it is categorized as a infinite graph whereas for the finite graph there is a and condition means as a graph consists of two things that is a vertex set and a edge set if vertex set as well as a edge set is a finite one in that case graph is categorized as a finite graph further finite graph has a two special cases one is called as an trivial graph and the second is called as a null graph so what do you mean by trivial graph means if a finite graph contain only one vertex and no edge trivial graph means if it has a only one vertex and there is a zero edge over here whereas a null graph means a graph whose edge set is empty edge set is empty means there is a no edge over here means zero edge for the null graph now what about the vertices so in this case the vertices can be more than one so we can write it as n into v where n is greater than equal to one so from here we have a one important result it say that every trivial graph is called as a null graph but the converse is not true means every null graph cannot be categorized as a trivial graph next is undirected graph a graph that have a non empty set of vertices and edges where edges do not have a direction on it it means edges indicate two way relationship in which we can traversed in both the direction so here g is a undirected graph because no direction is mentioned over the edges so in this case if we want to represent e1 edge in terms of vertices so we can write e1 is equal to an ordered pair of vertices a comma c or c comma a so in the case of undirected graph the ordered pair does not matters so whereas in the case of directed graph there is a set of vertices v and there is a direction mentioned over the edges called as an a directed edge so in each directed edges so it is associated with the ordered pair of vertices and when we are saying an ordered pair u comma v in the directed edge so it indicates that your edge starts at u and ends at v for example over this case it is a directed graph because the edge, uh, direction is mentioned over the edges so suppose this is a e1 edge over here so in this case e1 edge is represented as an ordered pair of vertices that starts from the c vertex and ends at the a so e1 is written as c comma a but we cannot write e1 is equal to a comma c so that's a incorrect notation in this case so in the case of directed graph order of our vertices to represent the edge matters whereas in the case of undirected graph ordered pair of vertices does not matter to represent the edge Thank you.